Hello, Chad. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. I forgot to turn the music down. Let's see. I've been using YouTube for the last uh, few weeks of streams leading up to Christmas because, uh, you know, Christmas love Bible playlists, that kind of stuff. But uh, whenever uh, I close YouTube, it like resets the volume, so it's always back at the max. That's just a little too loud. You guys can barely hear me over that. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you all. Very happy to be here celebrating some fucking Christmas. So I realized this is the last wildcard Wednesday before uh, before Christmas. So I'm like, you know what? We should I should do something Christmas related. Last year I did karaoke. This year I kind of wanted to do karaoke, but I didn't. And it snuck up on me. I didn't have time to plan anything, so I didn't have a set list ready. You know how it goes. It's also a lot harder to do a second Christmas karaoke when you sang most of the Christmas songs you liked last year. So, you know. You know, maybe we'll do it again next year. I don't know. But. Yeah, for this Wildcard Wednesday, I'm like, you know what? We playing a Christmas game. There's not a lot of those, but they're out there. And I got one. Playing Christmas Nights into Dreams. That is the plan today. Boys! <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a... To kind of give a quick rundown of the game. So, for those that don't know, Nights into Dreams is a Sega property uh, from the goes back to the Saturn. Uh, one big problem with the Saturn was that uh, there was never a uh, first party Sonic game released for it. No mainline Sonic games released for the Saturn except for Sonic Jam, which is just a compilation of the Genesis games on Saturn. So uh, Sonic Team was still cooking on that on Saturn, though. They made uh, Nights into Dreams, which is kind of the you might have heard of it. It was the Saturn's kill, uh, killer app. Like if you have a Saturn, that's one of the most owned games. Well, not long after Nights and Dreams came out, they made a uh, Christmas expansion disc, I guess is what it is. So it's kind of, it, imagine it kind of like DLC before you could do DLC. You'd buy another disc. I think it was compatible with your save game of regular Nights and Dreams. So you can unlock stuff by having played the game before. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> So you can unlock stuff I haven't played the game before. And all that good stuff. Uh, and then it's just a Christmas themed like little level and mission pack that uh, also I believe works off of the, uh, we call them expansion packs. Yeah, it's basically what it is. It's hard. Uh, I haven't played much of this. I've dabbled a teensy bit. Oh, ow, shit. Hit the mic. Uh, to test it, you know how it is. Gotta test your game, the games you get. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't have a stream today, would we? <clears throat> so I played a little bit of it. Hopefully there's no underlying issue later in the disc. We'll see. I don't think there would be, but you never know. You never know. Also, my desk is a fucking wreck right now. because So I'm actively using my PS2 and Wii for uh, streams lately because, you know, Tales in Mario Galaxy. But I needed the Saturn for this one, so <laughs> I just take the Wii, unhook it with basically the entire setup here. I moved it over to my side table, which is about mm, two feet away from the desk. It's not that big a deal. Uh, but the thing is, there's already a bunch of stuff on that side table, like my Pro Controller, my Spider-Man 2 copy, my Switch, all that stuff. And then I have the Saturn sitting on top of my PS2. I don't know if you guys know this. A Model 1 Sega Saturn is bigger than a PS2. Uh, it's not sitting nicely on it. <laughs> It do be hanging off the edges a bit. The, the, a fat PS2 is wider, like it's like longer, but like the Saturn is taller and uh, no, I, I'd say that's longer. Length and width get mixed up. Width's horizontal, right? So like the like if you looked at the PS2, the width would be like from side to side. If you're looking at it dead on, and length would be how deep it goes, right? Okay, so the PS2 is longer, or is wider, but the Saturn's longer. <laughs> Actually, crazy how, some, how big some of these consoles are. <clears throat> Not me wanting to spring for some slim consoles just to cut down on space. Big issue I have with, uh, so I've been talking about this before. I've been my, my current collecting mission is to get a Sega CD at some point, a working one. 
And uh, I've talked about before that I really wanted to be a model one for two reasons. One, I love the tower power aesthetic. If uh, hopefully for Christmas, I'll be able to secure one with either my Christmas money or someone buys one for me. That would be pretty sick. Treat my Christmas like it's 1992. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> uh, so model one, because I like the tower power aesthetic. Especially when, so, so once I get that settled, I'm like, oh, get a 32X. Got the whole shebang. I got the gen I, that's the premium Genesis experience. But also space. I can go up. I can't go out. And the Model 2 Sega CD sits on the side of the Genesis. And I use a Model 1 Genesis. That already takes up enough spaces. If I use a Model 2, maybe I can make it fit. I do have a Model 2 sitting in the closet. I could use that if I wanted, but I'd like my Model 1. But yeah, I can't fit it. I can't fit a Model 2 Sega CD on my shelf right now. Too much space. Between the Saturn, Dreamcast, and PS1. If I had a Model 2 Saturn and a uh, re and a slim PS1, maybe I can make it work. Maybe. I talked about this before, but yeah, uh, I bought these shelves for these retro consoles and I immediately ran out of space on it. Like it's so bad that if I if I have my Xbox up in here instead of the, instead of in the living room, uh, my N64 sits on top of it. And an Xbox Series X, even on its side, is pretty tall. The tallest console I have. Yeah, it's even taller than the GameCube with a Game Boy player attached. Yeah, no. Yep, Series X is taller, even on its side. Ridiculous. All right, well, <clears throat> so because this is just a small little level pack with that's cutely themed, today's stream will probably be pretty short. I don't have anything else planned after after Nights into Dreams. We're just going to play what we can here. I see what kind of content we can, we unlock, all that good stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that. And honestly, if we do end early, that'd probably be a blessing because I got some Christmas shopping I got to go do yet. And I'm trying to figure out when the hell I'm going to do it. So if we finish early, we finish early. I'll take that as a as a plus. But other than that, I think it's time we got going, huh? Let's play some games. Also, I will warn you, get ready to hear the opening notes of Joy to the World a lot, because for some reason, every menu screen has to play Joy to the World, but a new instance of it in this game. I found that out while I was testing. Like, I can't just loop the game. I uh, don't look at the suit, suit of Saturn. It's a legitimate game, I promise. I love a little 90 Sonic Team intro. There it is. The city is covered with Christmas decorations. <laughs> and people are looking for presents for their loved ones. Great A narration. Among them are Elliot and Claris. They all look rushed. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. Why do they have to walk that fast? Why do they have to walk that fast? In the crowd, they feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. But it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Walking down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City, facing the mammoth Twin Seeds Tower. It is decorated beautifully, and the tower appears as one huge Christmas tree. I can hear her mouth. Her mouth sounds. However, they realize what is missing from the Christmas spirit. 
the one thing nobody seems to notice. There is no shiny star atop the gigantic Christmas tree. I can't tell if it's actual mouse sounds or if it's part of the compression. The tree is incomplete. The Christmas tree is incomplete, guys. We gotta finish the Christmas tree. Gotta. All right, here we go. Christmas nights. This is the test game I made. I didn't do anything in it, so it'll be fine. See what I mean? Let's <laughs> just play the beginning of Joy to the World every screen for some reason. I think I'm kind of sick though. All right, Chris's dream. Oh, virus is first. Do that. All right, time for some nights into dreams. Ah, they got my ass. Okay, so if, it, if you guys have never seen Nights and Dreams before, this is going to be an interesting experience. There we go. Da, da, da. That's cute. Nice. Basically, you fly around, you collect these orbs, make loops. And then you go into this thing, deposit the orbs you get. That you. Uh, deposit enough to break the little cage to get your orb back. Then you move on. There we go. See, just like that. So I think the bells are just for score. I'll Okay, so I got enough now. There we go. Nice. Nice. Alright, how'd I do? I got a C. Nice. Alright, now we're on to the second stage. We go to different parts of the map now. Whoa! Hitting the wind. <laughs> Going all over the place. Damn. That's the tricky part. Is that uh, this game is 3D, and you gotta kind of take that into uh, account when you make uh, when you make your loops and stuff, because you can uh, get orbs and stuff that are in the background. Nice. Oh, it wasn't enough. Give me some orbs. Back down this way. Also, I think the Xbox 360 version has like this content like baked into it. Oh, they don't. Res I forgot they don't reset until uh until I do a lap. Okay, I got a few more. There's the rest. There we go. Nice. Here we go back. You do have a time limit, I should uh, mention. You can't spend too much time doing shenanigans like this. You gotta, you gotta keep moving. There we go. Jeez, that was close. All right, I could have done better. Nice. 
Hell yeah. these orbs that we can here. Oh, that wasn't fun enough. Nice. All right, cool. All right, let's reset the orbs. Nice. Hell yeah. Doing these big loots give you point bonuses, so you want to keep you do them as much as you can. stage. I got enough right out of the gate. Alright. Oh, there goes the sound. Every time. I got this capture card. It'll fix itself. There we go. There. Alright, not bad. A D. Boss fight time. Nice. Oh, I got hit. What the hell? Okay, so I need to go under the chain. I can't hit it. Like, if I touch the teeth, that's damage. Oh, the blue did damage. Let's go. Oh, eh, that wasn't fair. Is that the star? Nice. Oh, wow. I suck at nights in the dreams. So I got a better score than you, Sonic. Loser. Alright, so I get to open a present. Right. Shit. 
Well, I got a present. What did I get, though? Nice museum. Okay. That's all just stuff relating to Elliot? All these CG renders, that's it? Okay. And? Wait, is that it? Do we just keep playing the same level over and over again to unlock more Christmas presents? Right, there's one thing that I do know we can unlock in this game. I'm gonna look up how you do it. Hold on. I definitely want to do that. Let's see. Hmm. Sorry, right, I'm just check checking real quick. Yeah, this is the only level in the game. So here we go. Double check it. But... Okay, so there is so the, okay, so we have to keep playing to unlock this. Okay, there's one thing I really want to unlock. I think we're gonna keep trying to do that. We'll do Elliot this time. It doesn't like make it doesn't make a difference gameplay wise, but still, not really. Right, there we go. Took my stuff. Oh, knights! A lot of jingle bells today, aren't we, chat? <laughs> Alright, one more. Got that right here. There we go. Nice. There we go. Still got to see. How do I get more? I don't know how to increase my uh, my score. Like I've played Nights in the Dreams before, like a little bit. I never fully played it, but like, yeah, that aspect always fucked me. Like trying to figure out how to get the best possible scores. This 
Sometimes one of the most unique games I've ever played, though. We need two more. Oh, there they are. Cool. There we go. All right, let's see. Again. These sure can. There we go. Down there. Not. All right, just two more. Right, there we go giant loop. Boards, please. Orbs Doko. No orbs? <laughs> There's some. There we go. The magic number here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it looks like 20 is the magic number. There we go. Get back. There's another one there. Silly me. Running much faster. There are some parts here where I can see the frame rate hit 60. I'm like, hey yo. Let's go. All right, I did better. So looks like you want to collect as many chips as possible while you're playing here. Okay, so that, they said I could loop around his tail and that would kill him, but... I'm not seeing it. I'll just keep hitting his face. Ah, oh, fuck. What? That's not fair. That's not fair either. 
Come on! What did I hit? I was gonna close one because I keep getting hit unfairly. That's some bullshit. I don't deserve this. I gotta do it again? No presents? Okay, let's still get presents. Knights. Claris. I only get one shot. Uh. I guess we're playing the level again. It actually kind of hurts to play on the deep end, I'm not going to lie. Hands getting sore. Alrighty, I've only been playing for like 20 minutes. It was really fun. A little fun aspect. You can walk around the level as like these two characters like just for fun but like there's a thing that happens if you like like caught by like a certain thing can I play chips like this oh i can that's kind of crazy actually i never thought to do this or if there's like a oh there, there's the the egg timer that's what was trying to catch me i gotta run from that Oh my god. So I don't even have to play as Knights if I don't want to. It's kind of fun. Whoa! What the hell is that? Hmm. He's a little snowman. It's kind of fun to just run around and like experience this level in a different perspective because like I was under the impression that you pretty much had to play as knights in order to do anything like of note. Oh shit, you can even use the trumpets and stuff. Oh god. Protect me knights. Oh no. Got it. Uh, collect 20. Uh, oh, they tell me how to play. To uh, light a candle on the cake with uh, with the idea to complete the course. Okay. I know how to play. I was just doing the non night thing. Oh. Damn it. Every time you play, regardless of the outcome, you still get a chance to open presents. Try it again. I like the idea of running around first and collecting chips that way without the time limit. Give Knights a head start. Where can we find some chips? Oh god, egg timer's up. So the reason it's an egg timer is that, like, the whole idea is that it's nights into dreams, right? Like, these characters are dreaming. That's the whole point. Alright, um... Oh, here's some. This is the starting point. I can find more. Hm, that's fun. Over this way. The 
Unfortunately, camera control is pretty limited. It can only like move the like cardinal directions. Like I can move it 90 degrees left or right. No in between. Oh, there's the egg timer. Bye bye. Really go to the mountain, Skyrim style. Oh, hello. What all those? That's kind of fun. I see a chip there. Give me. I get those. I'd have to get those lights. Oh, I got them. Nice, 15 to start. All right, now let's go as knights. All right. E. Okay, so time doesn't matter. Just collect as many chips as possible. That's all that matters. Also, the level seems a little different each time I play it. Oh, hell yeah. Go. So during bonus time here, we want to collect as many chips as possible. That's what it seems to be the case. That's what seems to be the case. That's cute. Little detail. And that's how you get the good scores. There we go. Go. Nice, nice. There we go. Oh, that wasn't shit. a time you don't like die like the game's not over you just turn back into whatever like human character you're playing as oh as you and then you can keep playing from there probably just lose points if that's the case trying to form a figure eight there. <laughs> oh, I missed the thing. Oh no. Oh no, my chips. The egg timer's right there.
Oh no, they're disappearing! My chips! Dang it. What the? I hear the egg timer behind me. Oh, bullshit. Get up, Claris! Move! Ever seen this game in my life? Nights in the Dreams. Well, this is the Christmas expansion pack. Is it pointing at the egg timer? What's it pointing at? Oh no! Get up, get up, get up. No, 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 no. It's over. We lost. Damn it. I got greedy. I couldn't find the little station. I'm sorry, you usually have a pure heart, but this time it's just way too blatant. What is? Knights. Players. Damn it. That arrow in a kid's game. Seriously, wait, what's wrong with the arrow? What do you mean? I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. Right there. What's wrong with the arrow? A little wiggly, that's all. <laughs> Not that phallic. <laughs> Take a little time, start off with Claris, because I like the idea of uh, collecting a bunch of- Oh fuck, there he is. I like the idea of collecting chips before uh, playing his knights. Get a head start. Nice. Nice. This way now. Are you telling me it isn't? I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just a little wiggly. Nothing wrong with being wiggly. <laughs> God, Evie, get your mind out of the gutter. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got a bunch. And we're back. All right, now we play as knights. Go, boo. All right, now we uh, can start. Bunch of chips. Collect as many as we can. To get that nice big bonus. Or not. Hey, 11 bonus is pretty good. E! What? Uh, that's it. I don't get it. I don't get how the scoring system in this game works. That makes no fucking sense. I had so many extra chips, damn it. I thought extra chips meant was what you wanted. But I guess not. There we go. Get that present. Nice. E for the mid-level cap. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nice. Fly through the tree. Get 
Got it. Okay, we got C that time. How did I get that B that one time? I don't get it. There we go. I just want to do a bunch of loops. All right. A lot of stuff about this game does kind of just kind of start falling into weird Japanese game category. Hustle back to the starting point. Nice. See you again. we go from here. Nothing else in the in the tree, just that. Alright. So I still gotta see there. Alright, well. That's four stage, it's time for the boss fight. Okay, still still gotta see average, so I can't I can't complain too much. Alright. Let's go for the chin. Oh, come on. Almost got him. Got him. That's a new record? That's some bullshit. I do not understand how the grading system in this game works. A lot better than the last than my last thing on the leaderboard, but I give him my goddamn presence. Knights. Players. Okay, so Knights is here.
Nice. What do we unlock with that? Karaoke? Oh, you can pitch it up or down? It's so you can actually sing the song? It's like actually working like karaoke. That's crazy. Hmm. So are these just CG renders of knights now? So is this all we're unlocking here? Like it. Yep. Just more CG renders. Is it random? Like I said, Chad, there's like one thing I want to unlock. Good Elliot this time. For sake of time, I guess there's really no reason not to just speed run this. Because I don't know the scoring system. It's only one level. And we're just trying to unlock stuff. And there's like one actual gameplay thing that I want to unlock for the sake of it. And honestly, it'll all make sense when it happens. At least why I want to unlock it so bad. If you guys know me at all. That was what I wanted, but okay. Is there a present around here? Is that later? I think it's two, I think it is two versions of the same level, uh, two versions of the level, one for Ellie, one for Claris. I believe they are different between them. Well, they super are. There we go. Ah, cute. I have something. These little guys here, apparently they act like virtual pets. And uh, the Chow, the Chow system in the Sonic Adventure games was based off of this. It was based off of those little guys. We got time to go collect some more uh, chips. That's what we shall do. There we go. All right, how we do? Okay, we got to be that time. There we go, nice. I probably should also be taking out more enemies. Fire scores. Nice. That orb. Go. Where's the? There it is. Give me that. Hell yeah. We love presents. Now give me, give me the chips. Thank you. All right. Nice. You got to see that time.
Oh, come on. They didn't give me the orbs? Chips, whatever they're called. They look like orbs to me. I don't know why the game calls them chips. Alright, um... Right, let's get a bunch more now that we uh, respawned. There we go. Nice. Plenty. All right, we got that. I got a hustle. how that loop system works like when you get into like that bonus mode where you get points for doing loops because like it seems like they want you to do different size loops but there we go hey got another b i think i'm starting to get the hang of this now there's last words but Alright, not bad. Good start. Hey, okay, here we go. Mm. Here we go. Apparently missed the thing. Oh no, I didn't. Duh. I just didn't remember hitting it. I think I just missed it again. I gotta remember where it is. There it is. Got it. Now we gotta hustle. <laughs> oh, I was almost there. I'll take what I can get. I don't care if it's an F. I'm not losing, damn it. Okay. Alright, this boss fight sucks. I'm gonna be real. Very nice. What? The? what? what the? Yeah, what does right, knights? That's bullshit. So is that. Let's go around.
Got it. Oh? This is new. I With guess. the help of knights, Elliot and Claris found the star, shining in seven colors. But the entire story was a dream. So, what was that star? They don't talk about the dream they saw. But there is one thing both of them know. Something special will happen after they embark on an adventure with knights. Did Elliot fucking die? <laughs> they start feeling cheerful again. And now, happiness, like the light of a small candle, starts filling the city once again. Everything is okay now. Give a star of happiness to the heart of these brave children. Give a star of happiness to the heart of everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I guess I beat it. <laughs> In a dream I could see you are not far. This is happening. <laughs> okay, yeah, I uh, GG's, I guess. I guess I beat it. I guess you just had to beat the boss three times. Then credits roll. <laughs> guess that was all it took. Did you knock it? That man's a prison. Rotten jail, motherfucker. I hate that guy. I do actually hate that guy. Is so sweet. He is in prison for insider trading. Do I have him to thank for Sonic the Hedgehog existing? Yes. But do I also think he... <laughs> but do I also hate him for also having these weird archaic views on video games that actively hurt Sonic the Hedgehog, especially in the mid-2000s? Fuck yeah. Fuck that guy. I'm glad he's in jail. <laughs> I'm firmly of the, of the belief Sonic 06 would not be as bad as it is if he was not involved. Firmly. Oh, so Sonic 06 was the last game he worked on for Sonic, right? Do you want to know something that's really interesting about that? Sonic controls got better immediately after he left. Because the thing about Yuji Naka is that he has this... Uh, like philosophy of games should only be able to be played with like one or two buttons. He hates the idea of using every button on the controller for unique things because he thinks it's oh, it overcomplicates them. That's why in the original and that works fine for a game like the original Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, you have the Genesis controller, you have three buttons. What do they all do? They all jump. That's fine. That's all you need to do in a platformer. That's totally fine. A 2D platformer, all you can do is jump. That's fine. And then it does other contextual things like, oh, you're crouching and you jump. And now you do the spin dash. That, that makes sense. That's intuitive. That makes sense. 
But the second that Sonic went 3D, he did not let go of that phenomena. Or, or not phenomena, the, that philosophy. So if you play Sonic Adventure, the original version, you'll notice that when you play a Sonic, we're going to talk so Sonic specifically just to kind of keep things simple. Sonic still only uses two buttons. You have the jump button and you have the action button, and that's it. The Dreamcast has four face buttons and two shoulder buttons. The shoulder buttons do move the camera, like credit words do, but uh, D-pad does nothing. Y button does nothing, and X and B both do the same thing. They're both equally the action button. And that carried through all the way to Sonic 06, only having other buttons when necessary. Shadow is a little bit better about it, but they still had X be like contextual stuff. Like have everything, have the game react to what's around you, and that changes what the action button does. Sonic Adventure wasn't too bad. It was designed around that. But then you get into Sonic Adventure 2, where characters start having all these different abilities and stuff, and they're all bound to the same button. That depends on the context. So here's Sonic's full moveset in Sonic Adventure 2, right? You have jump, homing attack. Those are on the A button. A button. No big deal. Totally fine. That makes sense. That's been true for most Sonic games since then. But then you have the action button. What does the action button do? If you tap the action button, you somersault. If you hold the action button, you spin dash. Uh, if you press the action button while you're jumping, you do a bounce attack. If you push the action button near a set of rings, you do a light dash. Now, what happens if the game gets confused because there's a trail of rings suspended in the air and uh, and you, uh, you have a chance of bounce attacking to your death instead of doing the light dash? Do you know what the Y button does? The Y button cycles through all the actions you can do with the action button. I'm over here like, huh, if only we had more buttons to do more things with, Yuji. No joke, Sonic Unleashed fixed. That control scheme. Because guess what the controls are now? Hi, Clarice. Because the new Sonic Unleashed controls game, and that makes so much more sense. Okay, now we get more presents. Makes so much more sense. You get jump, which is on A. You get boost, which is on X. Light dash is on Y. Slide and stomp are on B. Oh my god! Quick steps on the triggers. Drifts on the uh, is on the shoulder buttons. Drifts on the triggers. Like, oh my god! We're using the whole controller, and Sonic plays so much better now. Funny how that works, Yuji. Sorry, I'm mad. Time. What is that? Link? Fuck! That's Riala, that's the bad guy from Nights in the Dreams. If you get him, you don't get any more presents. Finn's number one enemy revealed. I fucking hate Yuji Naka. He's one of those, like, devs out there that I'm like, I hate that guy. All right, time to get more presents. Because there's one feat. There's, we still have to unlock that gameplay feature I was talking about. I want to do it. So I believe the Riala picture shows up every time you play. Flag here. Be a little. Oh, he hatched. Here you go, little Nitopian. All right, here we go. Also, he was like, one actual like really bad interpersonal thing he did. Uh, when they were making Sonic 2, Sonic 2 was a joint effort between uh, Sonic Team uh, Japan and Sonic Team USA. It was like, that was like the big thing about it is that it was equal parts American and Japanese, or at least it was in theory. The problem is Yuji Naka hated that Sega made him do that, uh, and he was hella rude to the American staff. Like, straight up wouldn't include them in meetings, like, wouldn't let them, like, talk, would, like, either not use their ideas or claim them as its own. Just not a great person to work with. I'm not even making all this stuff up. This is, like, well-documented stuff about him. Bad. All 
right, C to start, uh, start off. Come on, I can get that orb. There we go. Thought so. No, let me down. I saw those. There we go. Okay, got him. These. Thank you very much. Take these down here. And even just down here? No? Alright, cool. Oh, I hope that I don't have to watch that ending cutscene every time I uh, finish the level. Gotta see that time. There we go. Go, yeah. Hello, present. That's what I was missing. Wonderful four. There we go. Now we got the good loops. Time to spare there. Nice. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm I'm really glad that Jingle Bells is a seasonal tune because I think I won't only, I don't want to hear it for a while after this. You guys jam into this game, my god. Alright. Did I get C's for each one of those? I did. Okay. Not the best I've done. Alright, let's get this boss's ass now. go. Nice. All right. Nice.
Hey, it's my best score yet. Not that it matters for anything, but. All right. Oh, I got five uh, chances this time. Hmm. Oh, come on! That's so mean. Uh, it's random, so it's not like I can just input like a code or something. Or like, there's no like strategy for it. Just play the level, open presence. Hope you get lucky. Okay. The problem with this game is that it was definitely a rush job. You want it out for the Christmas season. That's why there's only one level. And it's the same level as the base game. It's just the first the first level of the game. with a Christmas cone of paint on it. I can't get those. Hello, egg. Yeah, I knew that wasn't very good. Oh, there's a C! Still utterly confused by the scoring system. Let me add those. There we go. That perception's weird. These. Thank you very much. Nice. I need to stop saying it. It's very clear that I don't get it. <laughs> Over here, give me that. Got enough. Got it. There we go. I'm not here for good scores, I'm here for presents. Gotta unlock stuff. Yep, give me those.
Mm. Here we go. There we go. Egg. Hatched. I don't know if that even, like, matters, but... Doing it anyway. Let's go with the boss. Again. I think I got even higher score this time. All right. Yo. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit that time. Sure is ease. Wait, what the hell? Oh. I guess I hit him with the... I guess I hit him with the loop. There we go. Yep, that is now my best score ever. All right, cool. Present time. Give me the presents. Give me the presents. That this one, nice. All right, there's one. Damn it! Oh, there's a lot of presents to unlock here. I don't know if I'll I'll, I'll be able to do it. I'm pretty sure these are just more knights CG renders. Why not? It's options. I wanted Chris presents. There we go. Come on. What do I got? I hear the neighbors yelling about something downstairs. Yep, just more renders. Like they're arguing again. <sighs> they have to be out by next week. They have to be out by next week. <laughs> Just hang in there, Finn. Just hang in there. Right, let's do Elliot this time. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. I don't know how hard I'm going to pursue unlocking this, but I want to do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's one. Nice. All right, where else can I find them? 
Not there. Hmm. Try to optimize this stuff if I can. Let's see one more. I wasted too much time. Alright, I got this. There we go. Yeah, okay. Probably deserve that D. I missed some. Stage three or four, I don't remember. I thought it matters. Mm. Got it. That was stage four. All right, cool. We're done. Guy. 
Too early. There we go. Too early, I guess, and now I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. Oh, yeah, dodge it, okay. Right, cool. God damn it. Boy, if I don't get a full selection of presents, I'm gonna be upset. There we go. Yeah, it's fair. All right, just give me the presents, damn it. Cheesecake. Okay, I think that lets you do something with uh, the base game. I don't know. Well, to see. Link, huh? What does that do? Link attack. Go for the maximum link? Oh, it's a game mode. Okay. And we got the actual Nights and Dreams music now. Interesting. Hi, Smith. This link's 40 already. Jeez. All right, here we go. It's in dreams? Hell yeah. Christmas night, specifically. How's it going? It's going fine. Uh, there's a specific uh, feature in this version that I'm trying to unlock. It's not going well. But I think I just have unlimited time to do this. Because the thing is, all, all the unlocks in this game are completely random. So I have no control over which ones I get at any given time. That was kind of a fun. See, so hope you get it soon. Also, forgot isn't Knights a Sonic character? It, um, technically, Knights has appeared in a lot of Sonic games since this game came out because it's developed by Sonic, uh, developed by Sonic Team, so they're kind of treated as related. I actually just went on a whole tirade about uh, Yuji Naka because he, you know, worked on this game because '90 Sonic Team. I hate that guy. All right. 
Yeah, well, basically what we're doing is we're playing the same level over and over again because Christmas Nights only has one level. Uh, and then we're taking the chances we get to open presents after that to try to unlock the thing I'm trying to unlock. That do be what's going on here. Slowly going insane over it too because I'm sick of hearing jingle bells. So it's like being a retail worker. You sit here, you do this menial task, and you hear the same songs over and over and over again. Oh, give me that one back there. I know you want to. Thank you. There we go. Wanted, but I'll take it. This is what I want. There we go. I don't need those. I want these. There we go. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. There we go. All right, stage three. Wait, how do you change the... I see that sign going that way. How do I change the direction I'm going in? Huh. This doesn't matter. That... Nice. No, no, no. I don't want to go that way yet. I want this. Now we go this way. Go. Very nice. Right and twenty. I don't know why it only sometimes counts by giant loops. Doesn't make any sense to me? Actually, a lot of this game doesn't make any sense to me. There we go. to call it if uh, I don't unlock the thing I want to unlock by two and a half hours I'll give myself another 45 minutes I think I'm gonna call it because <laughs> we've pretty much seen all like the cr unique Christmas content we've seen in this game so far so my job of playing a Christmas game is now finished but I want to unlock this feature <laughs> so I'm driving myself crazy There we go, and done. Haha, <laughs> woo, features. <laughs> Bam, here we go. As fast as I can do this. Nice.
Bam! Alright. 70 seconds left. It's my best time so far. Yep, best score. So, that's the best I've done already. Still only got a C rank, though. All right, give me the presents. Hope I don't pick Riala again. Cheesecake. Time. Both time. Yep. And you. Oh, hey, we got two matches that time. Let's go. Dude, we unlocked. Where's your time is time attack? Yeah, I'm good with that. With that. Uh, so this is more renders. That's what we're working with here. It's mostly CG renders, but this top row is like game modes and stuff. So we're trying to unlock that top row. So again, pretty confident about getting a uh, match this time though. Because like, what's nice about the more presents you get, the easier it is to unlock them. But what a grind. How would I expect from this game, honestly? Here we go. Got this thing, Smith. And I'm muting the game just to play some different music. Come on, get through there. Knights? Uh, oh, was I stuck on something? Huh. I feel you there. <laughs> there we go, got those. Got those. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, give me those. There we go. There we go. Are you saying I'm not here for score, but I keep trying for some reason like, oh, I got to be that time. How? I don't know, but I got it. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. Give these. Hell yeah. Wait, what? Okay, I guess I didn't register. Weird. There we go. Alright, another run down. That might be my best uh, ending score yet. We'll see how this fight goes now. Can only go higher? Can we get much higher? So high. The one piece is real. All right, there we go. Nice. I got this whole thing down to a science at this point. <laughs> Look at that! Fast to clear time. Yep, do I score? Speaking of One Piece, I saw something about a One Piece remake called The One Piece. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, Studio Wit is going to be remaking the uh, the East Blue Saga, at least. So I'll be from the beginning all the way up to uh, Logtown, I believe. It's going to be the last arc they do. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, fuck yes. After out of the gate? Oh. Oh, baby. Cheesecake. Wow, just cleared out this section. Hi, Elliot. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I got Riala. <laughs> I believe this is the last group of presents to unlock. But yeah, I knocked out a Riala. That helps. Oh, it's all gallery. Wait, movie one? Night's goods? Hey, what are these? It's merch? This is an ad for merch that you could have gotten back in the 90s. <laughs> what the fuck? Sega mouse pad. Oh, look at the plushies. That's cute. Super cute. All right, what's movie one? 96 Tokyo Toy Show Edition movie. What's this all about? So is this just like a demo movie that they played for like investors or something? Or like 83 or some shit? Or whatever Tokyo Toy Show was? Alright, cool. Uh, I've seen enough. <laughs> A 
weird little bonus disc this is. Go again. That song has vibes though. Yeah, there was a vibe to it. For sure. Alright, come on, hit me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, I get it. So, all the signs change, like, depending on the stage that you're, like, that you're on, or the round, whatever the fuck it's called. I expect some jingle bells, honestly. That was refreshing. That. Yeah, nailed it. There we go. All right. Hmm. These. You. There we go. Oh, shit. Got a Claris for a uh, animation there. That's kind of cool. Never saw that before. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. That. Oh, dang, Nice was in the Sonic Racing games. Uh, he was in the Riders games. At least the first two. Yeah, I don't think he was playable in the... Really? Yeah. And he was unlockable in uh, Riders and Zero Gravity, I think. I don't think he was in Free Riders. I don't think any other Sega characters were. Yeah, uh, there were actually Sega characters in the, at least the first Riders game. I don't remember the second one very much. Yeah, the first Riders game had uh, Knights, uh, I, I from Super Monkey Ball, and Ulala La from Space Channel 5. Well, she doesn't ever un unlock Knights? I guess not. Never seen them in all my years. <laughs> I don't remember how you unlock them. I've had the same Sonic Rider save file for so long. But I do not remember all the unlock criteria. Hell, I don't even have the last character unlocked yet, which is uh, the red robot from the story mode. Which is really stupid that that's like the last character I haven't unlocked yet. Because who the fuck cares? It's just a little na nameless robot that was made just for that game. I gotta go Sonic Riders now. Sonic Riders 1 is Unironically, like full, like no Sonic bias, a fantastic game. Like once you get the hang of how its mechanics, it's really, really good, really deep. I agree. Yeah, hella underrated. Uh, 
There we go. We're done. All right, here we go. Fight the same boss again. Third game was very disappointing. The third game didn't work. <laughs> I think it was barely playable. I think it should have been a fucking, like, it should have been a given. Like, Sonic Riders, but it's on the Kinect, so you act like you're playing with your body, but unfortunately the Kinect fucking blew, so shit didn't work. Apparently there's a mod out there now for one of the Xbox 360 emulators uh, that lets you play the game with, with traditional controls and apparently it's way better. And like, there's actually some pretty decent content in there. It's worth checking out. I haven't checked it out myself yet, but that's cool. I think a streamer I watched did that. That's cool. I'm curious to see what the game is actually like when you can, you know, play the damn thing. All right, big money, Noriala. Who? Fuck! Man. <laughs> we go again. <laughs> so upset, chat. I don't want to play this level anymore. <laughs> so the thing is, if I purposely like fail, I get one chance to open presents. But because it's a memory game, you can't do a lot with one chance. You gotta get really lucky. Although, it looked like it was pretty consistent. So, hold on. Hold on. Okay, uh... Hmm. Oh, I'm just looking at stuff I can get here. Wait a minute. There's a... There's a cheat code here for uh, action replay. Let's we get unlimited present guesses. I do have an action replay here. It's cur it's, it's kind of it's plugged into my Saturn currently. So I under region locking. Okay, here's new plan. So I said I was gonna quit when I get to 2.30. If I don't unlock it normally, by the time I hit, hit uh, two hours, 30 minutes streamed, we're doing the cheat code. Okay, here we go. Nice. 
There we go. There we go. It's really fun flying around as knights, though. So, like, that part I really don't mind. Like, I think it's fine. I kind of just wish there was more than one level. Two, technically. Because Elliot's version is different. I actually like Clarissa's more. Three. Oh, wait, go back. I want this. No, I keep saying I don't want score, and every time I get one of these things, I can't help but loop. Let's try it again. Speed running this shit. I don't think it matters. I think I get five guesses no matter what at this point. I just need to collect enough to advance. And beat the boss. And I get present guesses. Go nice. All right, now we fucking bolt. We gotta see. Here we go, bam. So the sound effects remind me of Perfect Chaos from Sonic Adventure. I wonder if there's some connection there. Trying to do the loops, because like you're supposed to be able to loop around this guy, but I can never consistently figure out how to do it. Oh, like that. I'll do it. Big money. No reales. Okay, so it is consistent. <gasps> hey, we got something. <gasps> Sonic! Okay. <laughs> ah, we got it. We got what I wanted. It's all I wanted for Christmas this year. Surprise chat. The thing I wanted all this time. Present I wanted on this gift of Christmas nights. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog into dreams. I told you guys it was going to make sense once I got it. Why I wanted it so badly. 
<laughs> yeah, let's go! It looks so stupid! Alright, so we just played the level like we did before. But now we have full 3D motion as Sonic. We also don't need to worry about uh, the uh, egg timer, like when we play as Claris and Elliot. Where the hell are we going? Nice. Nice. Oh god. Get the chips. There we go. I was about to do the game as Supersonic. Nah. Although, one fun thing, uh, so the fan game Sonic Robo Blast, uh, in the current version, I don't know when they made this update, uh, but this, they made the special stages Nights into Dreams, but you play as Super Sonic, to get, and that's how you unlock your Chaos Emeralds in that game. It's really fucking cool. So, yeah. Not that far off. There we go. Here's the thing. Nice. All right, not much like the regular game. We gotta go back to center. Get these hoops. Nice. Also, Sonic got ups, bro. Nice. Give me these. This is actually really hard to control. <laughs> Having zero camera control is definitely making this more difficult than it should be, I think. My only camera control, like I said before, is 90 degrees to the left or the right. No other, no other control beyond that. Like, this top-down view that I keep getting is completely automatic. Hello. What's up, little dude? Look at him, he's chilling. Finally got 3D Sonic on the Saturn. Let's go. Present? That was a present. I don't know, this was here. Look at him go! Brrr, Sonic go Bert. Literally. Like it's a weird sheep. <laughs> it is like a weird sheep. Oh, I got more. Let's go. Got it. There we go. Got a D. Give me all your chips or things. Notice they kind of like want you to play the game on foot partly because like that is an option and for those that weren't there in the early part of the stream you can just run around these levels oh shit as uh claris and elliot the two human characters that is absolutely a thing that you can do can i hit that can i hit that that just launched me but like they might die and then if you run out of time as knights you also turn into them And there's, but there's like a lot of goodies hidden in the level that you can only see if you run around on foot. Nice about playing a Sonic because it removes the the dangers of playing like this. I kind of just got free roaming all around the level. One more. Come on. There we go. Oh, 
That doesn't do anything, does it? It kind of does, but not for Sonic. There we go. Ah. There we go. And screw you guys. Inhuman. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. How else can I find some orbs? Okay, there's some. I need more, though. More orbs. Chips, whatever the fuck they're called. I don't care anymore. Oh, no. I didn't think that was a thing. Okay, there we go. Please. These. Hello. Look, I just hatched. All right, here we go. We're almost done with Jingle Bells, guys. It's almost over. There we go. A lot of vegetation. All right, here we go. We did it! Hooray! Now for the boss fight. It's Eggman! But he's like the bouncy boss from Nights into Dreams. Hell yeah, let's go. Take that bouncy Santa Eggman. Also, this is Sonic CD music. Back here. <laughs> Ow. Is there a specific way I'm supposed to damage him? I don't know how to fight this boss on regular nights into dreams. Did I get him? I got him.
Way to go, Sonic. Hey, we did it. That was all I wanted. All I wanted was to play Sonic. I still get presents for playing. Oh, wait, now this is the menu. I got excited for a sec. That was all I wanted. I just wanted to play Nights in Sonic into Dreams. Well, that's that, chat. We did what I set out to do. <laughs> all right. Well, it is almost 2.30 my time. That was a while that I started late. Holy shit. Yeah, it's almost 2.30 my time. I should probably wrap up here. I got a little bit of Christmas shopping to do for the rest of the day. But I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me. It was a ton of fun. Good Christmas vibes. So, uh, we'll do our normal sign off. That was fun. Except for the grind. And playing the same. I, I, did anybody happen to keep count of how many times I played the level? There's no way, right? I played the level a lot, considering it's only one level, and I worked that hard to unlock just the ability to play as Sonic. <laughs> How sad is that? Sonic fan moment. All I can say about that is Sonic fan moment. But fun time all around. Good Christmas vibes. Uh, I don't want to hear Jingle Bells for a while, though. I'm good. I need, I need some time away from Jingle Bells. Only Jingle Bells I want to hear now is Hashire Sorio Kaze no Yoni Tsukimi Hara wo Padoru Padoru That's all I want. That's it. All thanks to the stream. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out, guys. I knew this was going to be a shorter one. You know, short expansion bonus disc game. You know how it is. All right. I'm going to head out now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. More Tales of Legendia tomorrow. I'm be very excited to see where the story goes from here. It's going to be a good time. Love to see you guys then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.